What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off our last time, uh, we have a couple of French armies marching towards us at Paris and we're going to hold them in a bridge battle. And what I'm probably going to do is swap some of my reinforcements around so that when I retreat these three units and maybe this unit here uh, that we can get some decent strength reinforcements as quickly as possible. Let's probably do something like this to make sure we've got the strongest troops coming in. But yeah, their army's pretty depleted. I don't expect a major, a major problem here, especially as we do have some pretty massive artillery units. I don't know how that's happened. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's crack on and push them back. We do have a... This is going to become a bit of a war of attrition near Paris to hold on to the city since uh, we are now at war. However, we only hold on, need to hold on to it for a certain amount of turns before we capture their territory in the Americas and then declare the campaign a victory. So. Let's put... Okay, let's put uh, two sets of guns pointing towards, or more towards one breach, or one crossing. Let's put another set of guns just generally firing over onto their side of the island to do counter battery work. These weakest units go right to the back because I'm going to be withdrawing them. I don't know why we've got such massive units. This seems to be like a bug that Empire sometimes has. Because there's no reason you should have an artillery, field artillery crew with 200 men. There's no reason you should have a regiment of horse with 200 men. I don't know. Feels like something's a bit funny. Okay, but let's put four units over here to cover the breach. Oh, to cover the ford. Deploy both our howitzers over here because this. Historically is where they come over. We'll have two units and we'll have a unit of regiment of horse to provide cover over here. To be honest, we may as well put both these units over here because this unit is so massive. Okay, let's run these guys into position. You guys withdraw. There we go. Artillery's having a great time. So you guys deploy like that, and let's put our cover on the flanks to make sure they can't leak around. Although it's fascinating to note that they are seemingly bundling together. Can you hit... are you within quick climb range? You are within quick climb range. Beautiful, because my field artillery certainly is. Feels like this might not be the best decision for them to make. You bombard the Royal Curassier Guards because they're the ones that will cause us problems. Good, our units are successfully withdrawing. see better troops coming in. Although, to be honest, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to uh, deploy them. Just a second, everyone. Okie dokie. So I send the first unit down here 
or the second unit down here. The Marines can come and hold position over here. This unit can be a bit of a reserve. And the last unit can also go over to defend and fight against the breach. Okay, your job of this artillery battery is to focus fire. To be honest, they can all focus fire the artillery. Right now there is no need. Yeah, the general's bodyguard tried to uh, make it across. It is nice that this artillery unit is sucking up cavalry, it's sucking up all the uh, all the fire. They put a quiet recoil. Not bad defense actually to protect their artillery from cavalry rushes. You aim at that regiment, of course. You aim at those guys. Okay, keep dropping it on the crossing point now. It does mean we will miss some, but to be honest. It's not too much of a problem. So who's that? Oh, horse guards. Let's make sure our infantry is running across, and it is. Okay, maybe that unit of artillery is also going to provide some fire into the center. So it's the light horse coming in now. They're being engaged by scattered musketry. Cavalry's managed to break through, but they're not going to get to our... Well, they might get to our howitzers. I don't know. Change their mind. Okay, let's pivot this unit so they can actually get some fire into the centre. My marines ignore the fight. Go out there and fill the gap. There is still a passage here to beat their, uh, to attack their guns. So let's get my cavalry across the river. Let's get this artillery unit. Looks fire their defending cavalry. Get our howitzers to just keep engaging. Yes. Oh, this fella's still dropping round shot. Good. We've now got a clear run onto their artillery, so then our guns here can start to just drop shells, you know, sort of in the right place. Can't control these guys till they finish crossing the bridge, I guess. A 
good stuff. The French have crossed into our cauldron. Cauldron of fire. I may end up only sending one cavalry unit to go kill this artillery, lest I screw it up. Fireball off for you guys. See, this is the horse guards. They've been cut down from 90 down to 35, 32. Yep, yeah, there they go. The gendarmerie unit, I think, has worked out what might be about to happen. My regiment of horse is finally routed under uh, such concerted artillery fire. And bearing in mind, 78 is now sort of their uh, two, this is their one third strength number. God damn, that flying infantry got hit by all that quick line. Gendarmerie crossing the bridge, crossing the river. The first galloper starting to fall. The general bodyguard crossing the river. He may be felled by the marines, his aides are being shot from around him. Oh, he almost made it to our lines. like to going to escape. Send our cavalry to go chase down the artillery just because we have no real other good targets. Actually you if you get around this line here you can just charge them down because you won't get killed running this direction through those spikes. Starting to drop. Shrapnel shot against us. So let's get both of our units of artillery to engage this gun team. No, you chase them down. You guys march up. And eh, maybe not. Not if it's just going to convince the pikes to run this way. The guards are crossing, but my men are reloaded. Sorry for sneezes, I couldn't get to the mute button fast enough. Uh, yeah, the lance of guards are being cut down. after my cavalry so let's combine our forces in diamond or, yeah, in diamond formation quick climb is tearing through this, re this reinforcing army let's just try and run away from the spikes Do some retargeting of my artillery. Now oh, they seem to be determined. To diamond straight into us, so we're going to try and charge in on the, the flanks of said diamond. They will do a lot of damage on the charge, but then they will do considerably less uh, once we actually join the normal combat and that cavalry did actually come back 
Okay, the Lancer Guard should get cut down quite significantly and quickly. And this engagement, good. and the 11th Grenadier, Grenadier de France. They fired off their volley, they satisfied their honour to France and then they're off again. <laughs> These men, the Swiss line, cross the frontier. So many dead in the river. You can already see them when they get up to it. When you start to look like from this angle, there we go. Oh! Devastating quick line attacks. Charge, my brothers. So let's halt all my artillery. Don't try and chase them down yet. Try and just head them off the pass. Actually, you can try and chase them down. But these guys need to try and run around these spikes and swing in this direction. It doesn't mean we won't get as many, but I want to do it. I want to try and capture these three units. I'm still going to take a few casualties from those spikes. But if I leave it too late, I don't get any of them. Turns out chasing them down was the chasing them down was the right decision, not what I just did. Oh, there we didn't. We're not going to get, not going to get them all like I would like. Damn. But I'll still take a decisive victory over the French, especially near Paris. Oh, especially when you get a ratio like that. We killed nearly 3,500 of theirs for the loss of 351 of our own. Back you go. Mm, the forces are on the move. Their navy is up on the move. They're surrounding us. It's uh, Iroquois territory. So we need to march south to go and intercept them. We also need to get the troops recruited near Paris to the front line. Uh, ooh. Yeah, let's fight that. Let's take their last... Well, let's uh, destroy this force near Tripoli. That should be pretty conclusive. Yeah. No strategy needed. Deploy your artillery. Deploy your infantry. Create a brigade on the left to try and push up when the time is right. Well, to be honest, the time is right now because they're so knackered. Especially on the left. Let's get our 
how it says to focus on some of these other targets. You, need, you guys need to run. Let's get this colonial light cavalry up. My general on the right. These are only gendarmerie, so they're not great cavalry. Delhi horsemen are going to be within range of musketry. I've got a volley off into my grenadiers. I figure we may as well take them. Well, we've got to take them before we can swing this uh, flank shut on their faces. Okay, because you're firing, I'm just going to do these guys. Let's bring these infantry on the flank up and around. Shot coming in. Daily horsemen have broken, but I'm not going to change my position because they've just ran. They're running straight into it again. This Mamelukes might become a problem. Oh no, get out of square then if they're not going to complete the charge, if they're just going to stand there and let you fire at them. Change our canister targets. Yeah, the Mamelukes aren't going to take kindly to that. Let's get my general around on the flank. You go hit those Janissary hand mortars. You guys, probably you guys as well. Push up onto the ridge. You guys form more of a position like so. You guys drop into squares just in case. Okay, now you guys get out of squares, because again, they've decided to not drive the charge home. Come on, kill the hand water guy, he's right there! Janshi Musketeers are holding on. But there's not really a need to chase them down. I suspect the army will be dead on dead at the end of the uh, the match okay let's turn off the quick liming how it says bring our cavalry up to here uh, you, you continue to chase them down I'm gonna continue just in case Janissary Infantry Guard right there. May as well try to take him out. You guys go after the Kurdish Hillmen. A general try and take out this unit of Janissaries. Good, they've been taken out. March on. Actually, no, no. No, 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 no. You go after these musketeers. law to them all. Leave none alive. I mean, some have, de some have definitely escaped. The cavalry and probably some other infantry from earlier on in the battle, but uh, yeah. Those guys. They're not going to do very well.
so they have been pushed back. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to auto that one. I'm not going to fight it again. <laughs> and again. And again. And decline attack. <laughs> because they've they've now got good Janissaries in there. And I'm not so particularly wedded to taking Tripoli. I don't, I'm not going to worry about... I'm not going to worry about making sure I officially destroy every stack that comes in. Okay, don't worry about Anita for now. Let's go down to Tunis, because you... If you run out... Yeah, good. Because you guys need to replenish. So let's merge some of the... Okay, good. You guys get in there. How many more do you need? Two? Okay, actually, hold on. Let's just, let's just completely merge units together. Good. So then we've got... 191. Let's put you into this unit of 160. No, we didn't manage to keep the experience high. So you need four more infantry units. One, two, three, four. March up. Upgrade the steam engine factory. Then get ready to push on to capture the city. Let's upgrade the farmlands. Here, then. So these weakened units of infantry can pull back and replenish. Uh, these marines can take their place. Come on, you guys. Replenish, you guys get into the garrison, although you can't take that many. Altri ordini, signore. I vostri ordini. Okay. Screw the howitzer. You need troops. That's what you need. Mostra maestà. Potentially even shipping these guys across. Okay, before you too much economic spending. So Guatemala, the garrison is strong. Uh, right, so you can see here, around the Iroquois territory, this this force under Constantino Bassano is being surrounded by multiple armies. So this guy is to march this direction at all speed. And this force is going to march up and take take New York. But because we're so close to the end of this episode, I'm actually going to do a bit more admin like stuff. You guys are going to march down and try and hit Niagara from the south. Okay, your cavalry... Recovery's done, you can do with some cool infantry, but you're not going to get it in time, so let's get another troop. Let's upgrade a couple of these ports. And some industry, because what's our... Income's looking pretty good, our trade's looking really good. Don't want to upgrade our infrastructure here just yet. Let's have a look at our research. It's firing on all cylinders, that's what it is. We are just mass researching everything. And that's part of the reason why we need to hold on to Paris. Because you want that recruitment capacity. Okay, let's recruit some. In two turns we're gonna recruit send a column of Grenadier Guards up from Madrid. Could 
Okay, we're going to hold on for one more turn before we send this army over. Let's probably try and pick up an army board. Let's try pick up a cloth mill. That's a good idea. Looks on strike in France, but that's yeah. They're coming around to that. They're coming around to us. It's okay. So you guys need to replenish because we've probably got a few more. Actually, I might. I might just move these across now. Avanti per il paese e la da sinistra in marcia. Get into Calais. Disembark the men. Hold on to this bridge. Then I suppose the, I think the priority over at, for London is to try and recruit a bit more, just regular infantry. I think. Then let's probably take all of our fourth rates to go blockade this one French navy, so they can't deploy any troops. To interfere with us in England. And then let's hop back to the Americas where Alessio Carducci is going to assault and capture the city of New York. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the capture of New York City. Cheers everyone.